Not the first, but the third of December 2023. Welcome to Lek and Greg Vegan Camp. So asparagus, when they start to shoot from the sides and, and start getting flowers or whatever here, they are a bit too old, but they are, can be used for steaming. That's fine. And the pumpkin is coming up too. Really interesting. Because usually we don't grow pumpkin uh, on, on this time. But because this is like close by uh, watering sprinkler, then I can maybe grow some uh, pumpkin uh, during this time in the dry season. The birds are eating the ripe mulberries. So there's not much, much they, they, they even eat the ones that are not ripe. Here you can see that I really pruning the chayas because if we let them grow too much they don't seem to produce nice leaves to eat. So and the shoots are just like yeah not really good. You can see on the behind of the leaves they're not doing really well in this season either. So I think they need some major pruning to produce more chaya, edible chaya with nice leaves. Oh, there are some patches with nice leaves though. So it's not completely red alert yet. Limes are almost gone. One of the last pumpkins, they were planted more than a half year ago and now it's getting more and more dry. So if there's no watering system, then it's hard for the plants, some plants to survive. New banana plants are helping recover this land and shade off the sun in the dry season too. The sour tamarinds are still majestic, not ripe yet, but can be used for nice sour dishes. Some tamarinds from the last season too, the black ones. And this is what happens with banana palms. Oh, not banana palms, banana plants. If they are not replanted or not planted deep enough, the solution for this is to actually just to take one of these that come up and dig a deeper hole and replant it. That fixes the problem most of the time. It also becomes more clear now which trees will survive and which trees will not survive in the mango garden. There's still some trees that are struggling and some are completely dead. But um, yeah, I'm still hopeful. I think this guy, Faktong pumpkin, and this pumpkin too, right here, will mature, hopefully. If pumpkins don't mature, the, one of the options is to, to eat them when they're not fully mature and just put them in a curry or something. Uh, a lot of uh, different Thai curries are with uh, young pumpkins that are not mature yet. They're not sweet um, and they're not so creamy like the mature ones, but they are, uh, they are a very nice vegetable to eat too. The last of the beans are really nice. I'll wait with the harvest of that one. And these can wait a little bit. I like, I like the beans when they're mature. They're nice to eat like this too, when they're green, but when they're like this, then they're just tastier. They have a more, a deeper taste. Yeah, and some majestic red cavendish coming up. One of my favorite plants, um, pineapple. Still waiting for it to come out from the deep, deep, deep roots. I don't know if you can hear it, but there are a lot of insects buzzing around. This is one of the benefits of letting the weeds grow a little bit. Because when you let the weeds grow, it's of course annoying to walk in. We'll cut it soon. But the insects will still have places to go because we don't, we, usually we don't manage to cut everything at once. So when we cut it in some areas and some areas we let, let grow, the biodiversity is higher, one of the things. The other thing is that it really 
captures all the night moisture and puts it in the soil. So the, the soil in this area is just much richer than in areas where we don't have weeds growing like this. So uh, I know we cannot eat the weeds, which is always what I hear when I try to talk with people from around here that you cannot eat the weeds, but the weeds help uh, take care of the soil and make the whole environment around the garden a better place with, uh, with different insects that will fight other insects. So if we have an invading insect that needs to be, that is overtaking the garden, it's easier to have other insects that will maybe kill that insect that is destroying the mangoes and stuff like that. So it's nice to see the bees around and a lot of birds around all the time. So it's, yeah, I like it. Papaya season is, has already started and we're just eating papayas every day. And these are just ripening up. And you can see <laughs> in this tree, there's also like, they're getting orange soon, so. There's so much papaya around right now that really we, we, we cannot keep up. There are also all the different papaya trees around and there's just, the birds are eating so many papayas and yeah, we, we share with the birds. Also last month started construction of a new building where we can uh, rest in the smoke season because it will be completely closed and there will be an air filter and maybe some aircon and stuff like that. So if it's really, really hot, we can go there and, and relax. The lake is resting which is really, really good. She just finished her last exams on her bachelor in the university. Yesterday, four exams in a row, which is hardcore. But I think she's happy that it's over. And Fabian has been busy helping out with the new little storage room. Some cement work and some roofing and closing the gaps. So the rats and different animals cannot get inside so we can keep our stuff safe without worries when we're not here. Thank you, Fabian. You're welcome. Okay, guys, watch this. No, no, the cement. Oh, the cement. Yeah, look look at uh, this cement work. It's, wow. It it's, looks awesome. It's not straight, but that's, <laughs> that's standard for... Yes. No, for for Lake and Greg Green Camp, we don't like straight stuff. Mm. Mm. And the architect behind this little roof, where there will be some uh, solar panel, and then under here, we will have area where we can hang more clothes to dry. And when we have this roof with uh, also plastic on top, we will be able to dry clothes even when it's raining. So this is awesome. I'm very happy with this. When the pumpkins are not the best of the best, we, we air fry, or I air fry the, the seeds and snack on these sometimes. Freshly roasted pumpkin seeds. Aroma, gloria.